Hello, hello, YouTube. This is Stephanie, aka Edini Hastu Sapakba, and I'm here doing the monthly readings. I'm currently on the side of Capricorn, so let's get into it. Yeah, like that, didn't <laughs> All right, divine forces of unconditional love of the highest microcosm. What is the sign of Capricorn? Need to know for their highest good. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. Lady, enjoy and reap. Uh, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Take care of your needs. Embrace the energy of peace. Overall energy for the month of April. Be fearless and stand strong. Let's get some life purpose cards here. Well. So I'm feeling like you probably have a, a father, a male figure that has passed that uh, is guiding you right now, perhaps. It's telling you to trust in the unknown. Be fearless and stand strong in the face of the unknown. Trust your talents in, changing, in these changing times. Um, bottom of the deck, teaching. So... You inspire young people to learn, so maybe it's, you know, part of your life purpose to teach, Capricorn. Um, be fearless and stand strong in your ability to do so. You know, trust in the unknown. Uh, we also have the animals card here. So as you community, you understand animals and communicate with them uh, intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life work. So this could also uh, be, you know, guidance to tune into any uh, totem animals that you may see uh, uh, or uh, any animals that may cross your path. Uh, research it and see what message, message that it has for you. Uh, but, you know, back into the overall energy. Like it says, you have the energy of the warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Teaching, you inspire young people to learn and surrender the drama. It says, no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So, and then we also see the hermit energy here. Wow. So, we have teacher teaching. Underneath teaching, we have spiritual teacher, okay? Underneath that, we have artist, okay? Underneath that, we have music, okay? So, I mean, even underneath that, we have let go, which, you know, makes sense with the surrender to the drama. So, maybe you need to surrender the drama so you can tap into all of these other freaking beautiful energies here, music artist crystal crystals speaker that has to do with teaching right leadership it's time to go ahead and make that de that decision to step into your power step into your uh your purpose here you know as you are becoming more sensitive and it's it's time for you to make changes accordingly so that you can also take advantage of that and perhaps you know how you do can do that is is by writing but Wow, Capricorn, it's a lot of a lot of great energy here. But let's get back to the reading here. So we have surrender drama. But we also have here surrender uh your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Be fearless and stand strong. Go within, right? Go within and find out what blockages you may have that's keeping you um, from letting love in. And follow your intuition. Follow how those nudges, those uh, flashes of flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come to you, perhaps in your uh, hermit mode. And be devoted. And committed to the information that comes. 
to you. Set your sights higher. And spirit is telling you, you most definitely have the strength to set your sights higher and most definitely the reason to because what is all teacher spiritual teacher teaching music artists uh <clears throat> writing speaker all of that came up for you set your sights higher you are unlimited okay <clears throat> but you may be doubting yourself with me not being able to talk right now but don't doubt yourself. Trust in the unknown. Whatever guidance that you get from your intuition, trust it and just go. Follow it. You know, again, if you know your totem animal, this may be the time for you to tap into it. Your totem animal may be the eagle. You may need to research the eagle. You know what I'm saying? And, and get and see what message comes from that. You may need to research the leopard. You know, um. And see what message comes from that. And you know what a black leopard is? A black panther. <laughs> you know, so maybe a black panther could be uh, energy that you need to research as well. But, uh, all of that in the first week of April, trust the unknown, animals, uh, you understand, can communicate, trust your inner guidance. Whatever messages you get from your totem animals may be, you know, helping you to decide because we did have the time to decide, right? We did have that time to decide card. It says make a decision based on your heart's true desires, right? And also the surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. And perhaps, you know, maybe getting an animal may help you right now in this time if you're feeling lonely. Uh, and again, you know, I did say there may be a male energy that, have had, that has passed that is trying to guide you. However, you know, this male figure could have been an energy that you had an unhealthy relationship with, you know. But, of course, as they cross over and they're in this new energy, they heal. They're able to see things from a different perspective. And, uh, you know, they may be trying to make amends with you through sending, you know, totem animals your way. Who knows? But at the end of the day, this energy doesn't want you to perpetuate that same energy. This could be you breaking, you know, generational curses as well. That generational curse of dealing with codependency and toxic people and staying in relationships longer than is needed or that you should you know long staying in relationships to the point where it starts to stifle your growth which is you know perfect segue into the second week of april which is the later lady now i said stagnate your growth right but this card says enjoy growth and reap the rewards so and, and as you do so as you release these toxic people this toxic energy this going to take you right into your heart's desire angels are supporting guiding and protecting you as your dream becomes reality right didn't i tell you that uh, energy in the spirit realm is here guiding you, your ancestors guiding you to inner peace you know it says cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge focus on the silence silence the silence is healing silence heals okay i know it may seem boring i know it may seem tedious but just do it just do it surrender to inner peace focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. And in doing that, in surrender to inner, inner peace, you're taking care of your needs. You know, you get into that energy. So, perfect segue into the third week of April, which is the winter. You know, take care of your needs. Which includes nutrition, eating right, eating better. Conduct You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. Enter, 
cool, interesting. So this is a whole nother skill you have on top of music, artistry, writing, spiritual teacher, teaching. Um, what else? But anyway, but uh, I feel like this is more about you eating better. Take care of your needs. Some spirit is telling you one of your needs that you need to take care of is eating better. Supporting that is surrender denial. Okay, so you maybe have been in denial in uh, the fact that you need to change your eating habits, but spirit said it's time for you to be fearless, stand strong, surrender that inner drama that you got going on, feeling like you can't change the way you eat or it's going to be boring or you can't. You know what I'm saying? We have all kind of preconceived notions of what it's like to eat better, but just make the decision to eat better. Just do it. Surrender denial because you know you need to. It says accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions, you know. Or and then again, it could be about you cooking for other people which i don't think i think it's more about you taking care of your own uh, nutrition here and so uh accept it don't deny the difficulty and just go into it you know with peace go into it with peace which is you know this with last week of uh april and you know spirit is letting you know you have the strength to do it you know everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous so just set your attentions on it because you, you are strong mentally you know and surrender to effortlessness it's going to be easier than you think okay you all this preconceived notions that you have is putting more drama on it than it needs be okay you can eat better it's just take little steps at one, you know, one small step at a time. Every little step helps and counts, you know. Stay centered. Exactly. The king of swords. Get, and this could be also that, that father and energy, like I was saying at the beginning of the reading. Like, this starts out your tarot, and this was the card that started out, you know, your uh, oracle messages here. But, so this could be that energy, that fathering energy and the spirit realm or that male energy in the spirit realm whether it's a father grandfather uncle you know uh, brother cousin just a male figure that you're you know possibly close to but they're coming in again to help bring you clarity to help you to make the decisions that you need to make to clear out any confusions here with the two of pentacles seven of staffs uh, empowering you to stand your ground yes and be that fearless warrior and to be strong empowering you to make that decision right didn't it say time to decide you have the time to decide card right make a decision based on your heart's desires and then we heart's true desires and then we did have the heart's desires card here as well you know so back to the judgment making that decision you need to grow and that decision is, you know, surrender in unhealthy relationships and also improving your nutrition. And in doing so, it's going to empower you to move forward and willpower and determination. It's going to strengthen you. It's going to give you energy. It's going to give you strength. Like, I did say strengthen you. But, you know, it's going to strengthen your faith. Oh. Uh, going to strengthen your inner peace yes and empower and all of that is going to empower you to take matters into your own hands to truly step into all of this all of this wonderful vision that spirit has for you is to set your sights higher right 
And you have plenty of things to set your sights to. Look at that. Will of Fortune is coming out for you. Like your destiny is here. But Spirit, in the month of April, you are preparing yourself. You're taking care of your needs. You are creating healthy uh, eating habits. You're creating um, healthy boundaries uh, so that you surrender. And you're surrendering unhealthy relationships. You're surrendering drama. And all of that is going to open you up to uh, bringing in a new love, you know, into your life. Again, empowering you to move forward in willpower and determination. Taking matters into your own hands so that you can walk into your destiny, right? Your heart, walk into your heart's desire. Angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality. Your dreams are coming, becoming reality right now, okay? And Spirit wants you to embrace strength. There's going to be... You know, like I said, surrender the drama. There's going to be people, you know, when you start stepping into your ooh, high priestess um, leadership energy. Come on. There's going to, you're going to have some haters, but you're going to have to be in a, this space of growth. You're going to have to be in this energy of peace and knowing who you are knowing your strength you know knowing that you're covered your ancestors are protecting you so you are free to be fearless and to stand strong okay because you are you know what you know you are in tune you are sensitive right now you know uh, and so you know when it's time for you to retreat and to recharge you know you're gaining all of the tools that you need to be able to be successful and to have a balanced mind and state of being Cause you bossing up baby okay king emperor not the king of pentacles the emperor the king of kings now i do feel like the king of pentacles uh can shape shift into the emperor but we ain't worried about you got the emperor okay you ain't gotta worry about shape shifting or anything like that the emperor can shape shift into any of the other kings because he's the king of kings you know he has the attributes highest you know all of the authority of all the kings put together in one being yes your intuition is guiding you into that baby so and you getting to work slow and steady on your path doing what you need to do taking your breaks when you need to take your break but staying steadfast okay Staying steadfast, warrior, fearless, staying, staying strong on your journey. Taking the time to retreat and recharge when you need to, but getting back to the money when it's time, you know, because you're devoted to setting your sights higher. You know you have the world at your hands and that your energy and you exchanging all of that energy is going to create abundance, like with that emperor card coming out, okay? Be brave and be honest and move forward. Willpower, determination, and strength and knowing that you're covered and protected Capricorn. Hope to help in some way, shape, form, and fashion. I love you all and until next time, peace.